This is DynaFloat, a dynamic simulator of the flotation cell. Uh, as you can see here, we have the pulp and the froth, and we are going to start the calculations right now. Uh, to get a realistic simulation, we are going to get this update at about 200. All right. Then uh, we're going to uh, show here that we can increase the aeration rate to about 50 and that produces a change in the grade and recovery. Uh, in this case, uh, the recovery goes up and down, it's an inverse response, and the grade goes down. We can also now go back to the nominal aeration rate, about 40. And we are going to increase the turbulence in the cell by increasing the impeller speed. And you can see immediately that the recovery goes up and the grade does a funny change there. I'm going to go back to the original settings and we are going to now change uh, uh, or identify changes in the feed for which we have a little table that we can change. Uh, at the same time, we can increase the aeration rate here. Uh, and keep it a little bit higher. And we can also do a change here in the froth. Uh, pulp, excuse me, in the pulp. And again, I got it too much. So usually, uh, we're going to go back to the original settings. But immediately, as you can see, the form changes and the grade changes, and we're going to wait a little bit for steady state. And, uh, the reagent can also be adapted and changed, and that when, uh, when you are changing the reagent, you are also changing the conditions of the mechanisms, so you can adjust some of the parameters. Uh, we can again uh, decrease the froth, the, the impeller, the taming rate, for which we have we see immediately that the recovery goes up and the froth goes uh, diminish and the grade goes up. Excuse me, the grade went down immediately. influence the grade going up by having the right amount of froth hot. And as such we can see that we are reached the original state state at this condition again and we can go back to the original nominal settings that we had and so on. We're going to stop the calculations right now and uh, that concludes the showing of the dynamic simulator for now.